Central Valley has been hit with foggy conditions and the low visibility has caused several accidents in the last couple weeks. According to the California Highway Patrol, this morning they responded to 20 wrecks. 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live from Northwest Bakersfield with how the CHP is working to change that. Leslie? Well, Tim, rural roads like the one we're traveling on right now tend to have denser fog than those in metropolitan areas. But for people like field workers who are on their way to work at 3 or 4 in the morning, visibility on these roads tend to be little to none. Dense fog and low visibility. That's what Alfred Hernandez drives to work in every morning. It's a lot more dense in areas that are uh, in the fields, as you can see down the street. But for the field workers he represents, the driving conditions are worse. They're the boundary markers and the lines on the road, which uh, would normally help you navigate, um, aren't present on a lot of these backcountry roads. Just yesterday in Stockton, California, five field workers were killed on their way to work. I mean, it, it really kind of shocks the conscience. Dense fog. A contributing factor to the wreck. Um, the laws have become a lot more strict on these uh, on the farm laborers. To prevent tragedies like this from happening here, officers with the CHP are keeping their focus on a program started more than a decade ago. Well, in 1999, uh, there was a there was a horrible crash where 13 people lost their lives. 13 farm labor uh, uh, workers uh, lost their lives. It's known as the Safety and Farm Labor Vehicle Education Program aim to keep field workers safe on the roads. There's a lot of people driving out there that tend not to slow down. Through the program, Raitero has started a carpooling system that requires all drivers to attend classes, get a Class B license, and make sure their cars are safe to drive in any condition. Certified, they have to have a fire extinguisher. Um, they also, we also have to make sure that that they all have working seatbelts. All to ensure that tonight these workers make it home safely. They're a tough breed, and they tend to do what they need to do to to uh, make ends meet for their families. Dense fog is expected to start rolling into the area starting at 10 p.m. tonight. Back to you.